Anybody here doing weightlifting? Me. I cannot believe nobody does weightlifting. I do. I, good. I good. agree that. And if you don't start doing it right now, you only realize you need it once it's too late. It's for, for, uh, for me, it's like the best injury prevention there is. It's not even about being strong, it's just about injury prevention, yes? So, um, why do I ask this? Look, because look, imagine, for, for me, Jiu Jitsu is a lot like, uh, like CrossFit, yes? Advanced Jiu Jitsu is like CrossFit, and basic Jiu Jitsu is like basic weightlifting. Yeah? I'm going to ask everybody a question. Look, what is the most important thing? For example, here's, I'm going to do a deadlift and a 100 kilo bar is laying here, yes? And I grab the bar. What is the first thing I have to do right now? Who can coach me here? What, is the, what, what should I do right now? Help me, please. Please help me. What should I do? Yeah, you should do load your... Uh, the, 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 the wing. Yeah, this, right? This, yeah, yeah. correct? Yeah. And what did you say? You have to strengthen your lats and strengthen your hips. Yeah. And why? You to be tight. Tight, yes. Yeah. You, can call it, you, can call, you can call it tightness. You can call it muscle engagement. Rich and Gracie calls it connection. Form tension, there's many a different words for the same thing. But you have to do something with your muscles. Eh? And then you bring the bar up. And then maybe you succeed or maybe you fail. Yeah? Now, if you succeed or fail, it's your strength. And, and strength building takes time. But what is very important, if you hold the bar and do not engage your muscles, and just stand up, let's say I do this, I will maybe injure my back. Eh? Let's say I actually do everything correct here. When I get my shoulders over time in 10 years, or maybe tomorrow, maybe today, you will get a problem in your shoulders. And then you wonder, go to the doctor, hey doctor, my shoulder hurts. Oh, what, what sport do you do, sir? I do weightlifting. Yeah, not good for you. Maybe go play billiard or something. <laughs> yeah, but everybody knows doctor like this. This always happens, yes? So, sport is not bad for you. Sport is good for you. You have to do it correct. Okay. Then, um, can I have you please for a second? Look. Okay, look at I'm going to hold you. And you're gonna do something, yes? But don't go berserk, don't kick me in the balls, so this will be, be calm, yes? So I'm here. What is the first thing you do? Okay, good. Come please here. I'm gonna ask you a different question, yes? Come here. Lay down, please. Lay down. I'm gonna ask you a bunch of, bunch of questions. What is the first thing you do? Okay, good. Uh, please come here. What is your first thing you do here? Does anyone else know what I'm going with? You? Go, going here or no? no. You know what I'm gonna do? Look, no. I started my well, maybe. Yeah, that's true. But look, I started my class with, with saying this: well, the first thing you do when you hold the bar is muscle engagement. And usually, when I ask you the question, "What are you doing here?" I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and this, and this. But what makes you believe I'm gonna let you do those things? That's always the big, the big question. Yes. So let's go very, very basic, come here please, look. Very basic thing, look. Self-defense first class. They get your wrist, keep squeezing, I wanna try to get out. I cannot get out, I give you a punch, and I'll magically get out, yes? But if I'm here, if you pull my arm, ah, so if I pull and you pull there without engagement, I might injure my shoulder. So the first thing I have to do here is keep squeezing, this. And I'll pull, and I'm better for whatever was happening. And then maybe I'm going to do all these other things. So you always have to think about the mo what are you going to do in the moment, and then the rest happens, yes? So you have to engage your muscle always first, uh, organize yourself, and then act. You understand what I'm saying? The problem is this, with Jiu-Jitsu people always focus too much on the result. They're focused on getting the bar up, yeah? They're not focused on how it should happen. Not too much focus about the result, not about the moment. I'm going to try to fix today, yes? So, um, you can help me here. Well, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Stand up, <laughs> So, we're gonna do this, look. So, if I have to give an A about this, it's about being in the moment. Just stand up like this, please. Stand up. Look. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna be fully relaxed, yes? And I'm gonna give your arm a hug, and I'm gonna put my arm as high as I can. So, see what I'm putting it. And these are, I could pretty much do it with every position, but I find it very hard, very easy to start from here. And you're gonna put your other arm over the other arm. See, so you make like a rear naked. Go over here. And you're gonna fully relax. Yes. And all I'm gonna do right now is gonna breathe in. And then, as I breathe out, I'm gonna only use my biceps. And start bringing closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. 
You like this? No. Not really, yes, but it's okay, yeah? So you're going to breathe in. Every time you breathe out, take a bit more. Then breathe in again, and breathe out again. Until you feel it super tight. Don't try to do this. If you do this, it's like you step a scale, it goes to 100, and then back to 50. But if you put your weight slowly, it can increase forever, yes? You're not going to get tired like that. So as high as you can, put the sharp of the arm on the arm. Go over here, make your rear naked, breathe in. And also, <coughs> you have to put your belly and push against his arm a little bit. Just push, put your elbow, please. Push, this cannot, push me away with your elbow. This cannot happen. You have to put pressure here. Now breathe in, squeeze. When you're at your max, then you're gonna make it even worse. Then you're gonna, from here, you're gonna engage your back. Feel this? Okay, good. It's not gonna be a submission. People yeah. aren't gonna, not, but the point is, what I'm gonna teach today is to how to make your squeeze as tight as possible. And then afterwards, use your core to make it even worse. If this was your throat, it would be a choke. If it was your heel, it would be a tap. Now it's just your arm, it's easy to work from there. Okay? So let's, uh, let's try this. Go. Jiu-Jitsu is always action reaction. Every action I do gets a reaction. The problem is, you keep acting reacting, and so at some point someone will win. So for me, often what I like to do, huh? I believe I like so I like to define Jiu-Jitsu not in who is winning or who is losing. Huh? Well, actually, yes, but not about what's best position, what is best one is this. I think the one who is losing is usually the one who is reacting. Yes? If you keep reacting, it means you play in the other person's game. This is true in Jiu-Jitsu, this is true. For, for many aspects of life, of life. It's, it's always the, if you want to win, stop, start acting and stop reacting. And then, then things go better, yes? So, um, please come here, yeah? So look now how we bring this. Look. So look, go back please, yeah? So I go here and I squeeze the arm, okay? Why do I, but uh, be a bit, so don't be too loose, okay? okay, okay. But don't, don't engage your muscle okay, yet. We're gonna talk about that later, yes? So if I'm here eh, and I'm squeezing, see why would I do this? Well, I want to have a grip. It could be this. It could also be, I could also be here, but where I start to do. But it, for me, it's easy to go close because I can, the, the further you go away, the, the more complicated and more complex it gets. Eh? So I'm going to be on the arm. Now look, keep, put your arm close to your chest, please, okay, here, but do not engage your muscle. Okay, okay. okay relax here, but keep your arm close. Yeah. So look, if I'm here, how can I generate more pressure? I do everything, I breathe in. And slow. Why do I do the breathing? Because look, if we roll with a, a lighter person and we go like all of a sudden, like bam, all of a sudden here, then I'm actually taking a gamble with your, with your, uh, with you. Yes? Okay. Every time I yank someone, I'm taking a gamble with you. If you're relaxed here and I yank, you might injure your shoulder. If I yank backwards and you yank there, it gets double here. So the only, so what you always have to do every time you fight Jiu Jitsu is many things can happen. You grab me. I'm always going to engage right away. And now whatever happens, happens. Maybe you put my head on the floor, good. But my shoulder is still intact, yes? Okay. And the, the more close to the core you go, the easier, the harder it becomes to injure something. But if it's injured, it's worse, yes? Yeah. The further you go away, the, the, the easier it is to, uh, to uh, injure something, but the least consequence. If I break my finger, I can still move anything else. If you break something here, well, that's where you're going to live the rest of your life, you know? So, Let's have to see it, look. So here, and now look, we're gonna see how poor Moses adds to this, look. For example, if I'm squeezing everything, we're very slippery, yes? For example, I want to take you down, it could be a good idea to start pulling you down. But, if I pull down, put your hand in my, head in my, sorry, put your hand in my face, please. Oh, listen, Ish, your, it's my fault. Your hand in my face, and push me away. If I pull and you pull, so push, 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 push. That's when it slips out, yes? So what I wanna do, I always look what the person is doing. He's standing up, so remember, I give the person what I want, but it's not wanted anymore. So I'm here. I want to be tall. I'm going to be tall. Okay, good. You walk away, and I can keep walking away with you. And then we reach the end of the mat, and the referee will say, okay, reset, and we go again. Now we're going to imagine there is a cage where we keep doing this forever. Usually if you push a person, so stand up, please, and push back. See, no, no, push back. Go, go. See, then we increase more pressure, yes? I'm gonna keep squeezing, I'm gonna keep lifting. Try to pull your arm out now. Pull your, push my face and get your arm out. Back in. It's gonna be hard, yes? Okay. If you start pushing people, what they usually do, so you can do many things, but right now all I want you to do is to try to open your elbow, see, and create space for yourself. So if I'm just standing here, I try to squeeze, yeah? In here, the arm will slip out after a while, correct? Okay. Now don't try to walk away, because every motion you do have to react with something else, and we're gonna keep it. 
we're gonna do one step at a time. So all I want you to do right now is to do this. Okay. I know we can rotate and pivot and all those things, but then I have to do my motion as well, so we're gonna keep it simple. So be here, yes? So stand up, stand up, oh, oh no. Just, just do what I ask. All I want you to do is to open your elbow okay. and do this. Okay. This is hard. <laughs> but if you roll and duck, then you can go over your elbow. Yeah? So look, if you're here, stand up now, wait, wait, wait. So I start my exercise, wait, wait, relax. I squeeze, engage everything. So what, I happen, what happens here, I bring my arms as close as possible, I try to limit the space here. Once I'm super close, my arms are very tight, that's when I engage my back and I, get, and I squeeze even more. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna engage your arm. No, 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 in the, no. In the moment, just do this. Okay. So now it gets a bit better for you, you feel? Yeah. Put pressure on your elbow alone. And now, go down. No, just go straight down, straight down. Yes, as it starts to go down, look here. Okay, here, that's when I start to walk away. So feel this, I'm here. I'm walking up with you, squeeze. You start to go away with your arm, and I start to go down. You start to go up again, see? I can go in. And all the time, you put pressure on the shoulder. Feel? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Can we please? I'm gonna let you feel as well. So I'm here, I go as high as I can in the, in the armpit, squeeze in, put pressure, I go up in, yeah. We cancel each other out, it goes down, but don't rotate yet. Ah, okay. yeah. So go up, I squeeze, you go down, I start to go away. Don't, don't rotate yet. Yeah. Then I'm here. If you start to pivot backwards, go backwards, see, I also pivot backwards. Still putting more pressure here. If you go the other side, I go the other side. If you go up, I go up. If you go down, I go down. Going up, goes together with going forward, going back, goes together with, uh, sorry, going down, goes together with going backwards. So feel it just to you, look here. So here, put your butt down, I go, don't rotate yet, take it one thing at a time. You go down, yeah, here, I go down. I keep walking, you circle to live with the pressure, and I circle. Generates more pressure, no, no, wait a minute. Generates more pressure here. You go the other side. I counter rotate. No, no, keep rotating that side. I keep counter rotating, yes? You go up again, I go up. You go down, I go down. Let's say we stand up. You rotate your left shoulder backwards, I rotate backwards, yes? You go the other side, I go here. And so what I'm saying? At this, look, every time, look, when I'm here, let's say I go first, that's when you're out. And like this, for example, this you can, for example, start to use. Huh? You're here, the guy goes up at some point, that's when you can start entering your the wrestling into this framework. Okay? So play with this game right now. Thank you. Whenever you teach a class, there is three variables you have to play with. So first is safety, second is fun, and third is learning. Those are the three things you have to fix every class. What is the least important of the three? Sorry? Safety. So who says safety is least important? Okay, okay. Who says fun is, I hear fun is least important? Well, if you teach the best classes in the world, eh? so very safe classes and very learning classes, but it's not fun, eh? you cannot make a business with that. People are going to drop out. You try to teach a safe learning class eh, to kids. They never come back, neither to beginners. It's only the disciplined fighter who's already into it for many years, like right now, you, if you're here in the camp for a whole week, it's not only fun, it's also boring a bit, you have to pay attention, yes? So, I would say learning is the least important. Because learning happens by itself. If the activity is safe and fun, people will keep doing and they will learn things by themselves, yes? That's, that's mostly how it is. It's order and chaos. Too much order makes it safe but boring, too much chaos makes it fun but dangerous. <coughs> you have to manage those both. If it's kids, Yes? If it's kids, I put a lot of chaos, because they're mostly okay. If it's 90-year-old people, I do very order. Yes? Okay, good. So, very often when I teach, I like, I like beginners at least a lot, do many games. For example, take triangle, try to beat me, eh? and do something for safety. How do you make it safe? Okay, for example, uh, can I use it? The very first armbar class I've ever saw in my life, was, was this, we started somewhere, maybe the grips, yeah? get your hands together, and we keep it tight a bit, yeah, and we saw how to open it, maybe I did this, yeah? open it, boom, we start to attack, good. Then, 
this is not the best defense. Maybe mm. this is better, yes? Okay. And we do positional rolls. And we take the hands, and I'm the nice guy, and I say, okay, I'm gonna say three, two, one, and you're gonna do this straight away, yes? So I learned to do this technique today in the class. I figured that out. We do positional rolling, three, two, one, go. I didn't learn this today. I cannot do it. As a beginner, I think, ah, so if I'm slow, the guy will take something better. So now what happens? We take the hands together, three, two, one, go, and I start to attack right away, and then injuries happen, yes? The sheet code to get quickly good in jiu-jitsu is to do this. Always when you teach something, you teach the breaking mechanics first. What is breaking mechanics? For example, you go completely to the end. When I've completed the arm bar, completely locked out, every time I use my arms, yes? Arms are always too much or not enough. You try, try to, at some point, try to pull something from the ground, a stick. And you do this, this will happen. Eh? Or the stick will break. If you're lucky, it's, this, it's uh, well, usually this happens. Okay? So, and if it, even with the arm bar, everybody has to have it happen sometimes. That you, only one time I hope this happens to everybody, that you pull an arm between your, your, your teeth and your mouth bleeds and then you know it's not a good idea. Yeah? So how do you make it safe? You go completely stretched out. You immobilize them fully. You put pressure with the arms. Arms are too much to them up. The hip is very slow and can be dosed. So I'm gonna tap him. Good. So I know if he's here, I put my hip. Now it's a lock, so now I will not put the lock. And now I tell you, escape. And I'm gonna try to figure out, try to get out this. Ah, oh, look there, we have the hitchhiker. Ah, oh, he's out, good. <coughs> do it again, please, do it again, please. Ah, good, go the other side. The other side. I get the arm out. Okay, good. And that's how little by little you can figure out things by yourself. Yes? And then a good coach. This is now it's safe. It's also fun because we're fighting straight away. And then learning, we can I can tell you, for example, I'll walk away then, when then, and then it's strategy. And a lot of times you can be actually each other's coach. I don't believe you can teach jitsu in a group. It's very hard to do that. It's easier to do one-on-one. -on -one. But the private class is expensive and it takes more time, so I like to, in my gym, I like, I like to make everybody a coach of someone else. And only when, the, when, the, when, when everybody like figured the game out a little bit, we we're like 70% there, which goes pretty quick, 70%, then you go 100% in tiny details. And maybe if, if the person trains three times a week, just recreatively and, and for fun, maybe you don't have to go 100% into something, yes? So that's, that's my idea of this, okay. Now, we're gonna continue on the same path. So what I'm doing today is actually, I'm teaching you to use your arms. So whenever you pull a chain, where will the chain break? On the weakest link, yes? Your weakest link is always your connection, your grips. So right now I'm trying to do is here, I'm trying to fix your weakest links and then use your core, which is safe and also strong and doesn't get tired to remove everything else in a reaction to your opponent, yes? So, um, uh, please help me out. <coughs> So, we have this arm, yeah? and you feel like every motion he makes, makes my motion better. So if I'm squeezing here, if I don't do anything, push my elbow open, yeah, can get out. So I have to lock this elbow in with my chest, and I'm going to lift him up. Okay, good. And I start to walk from the neck. He push the elbow back. No, I keep walking. Put yourself down. Try to get here. Okay, I'm going to walk away. Imagine now, put your hand in my face. What is the most economic way to get his arm out? Get your arm out, please. Exactly. But now let's explain what you just did. <laughs> You have to put pressure on the arm first. Put some pressure along this arm. Put some pressure here, yes. And now to get out, it's a core rotation. You're gonna rotate, wait for it, not too fast. Put pressure here. You're gonna keep the shoulder where it is, rotate this shoulder slowly backward as you put more pressure here. Just the same as we're here, we're just rotating our shoulders, yes. So again, I'm here, you put your hand in my face, okay. You start to rotate, okay, good. How can I fix this? Here I lost it, so I can fix it by, go for it, by counter-rotating. Now, when I'm here, maybe you pivot over there, this in, so pivot, so, so a pivot is like, like, a, like a basketball. basketball. Yeah, yeah, no, but this is rotation, this, so this side pivot, yes? So if I'm here, you put your hand in my face, you pivot that side, and I counter-pivot. You feel? You go the yeah, other yeah, side, yeah. and I pivot here. Now, when do throws happen before, you, for example, you go there, Imagine from here, you, you think it's going to be to Osotogari, for example. You step your foot behind me, yeah, yeah. and then you feel I take it. Now, I would not be that stupid. No, because you train. Yes, yes. But for a beginner, now we understand how this whole game works. Yeah? Yeah. 
So now we have this game, yes? Now something that happens coming from this grip, uh, it can be this grip, but it could equally be the two on one. So how do you fix this? You put two completely here. And then usually how a class is taught is like you're here, I pull the guy down, I go underneath, and all beautiful things. And then you do it a million times, and maybe it works and maybe it doesn't, it becomes a speed game. Yes? For me, I like to make it a chess game. So how do you figure it out? You go over here, you squeeze, engage. Now the weakest link is tight. And now, wait, and now I'm gonna ask you to explore both extremes. Put your shoulder backwards. And okay, good. And I rotate more. And I'm gonna counter rotate. Would you do this in real life? No. No, 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 but a board. Uh, but no. you feel, yes? And now we can train it. Look, go a bit more better, backwards. I counter rotate, and I keep going, 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 going. <laughs> and you rotate the other side. That's when I keep going here, for that side. And that's how you feel the pressure. You put the butt backwards. No, still real right? And I go back. Don't rotate. If you rotate, I roll. So try to be precise in your motions when uh, okay. you play, yes? Now, a common thing to happen from here, what I want to teach now, is when we're here, yeah? So often you rotate back with your shoulder a little but bit, yeah, yeah, here, I counter, you go the other side, yeah? I counter rotate, you put your butt backwards, we go backwards, here's your arm direction happen. Like, after a while, see, when you go a little bit up, and I go completely up, see? That's when you get access over the leg. Let's say we go into the into the single leg. Single leg is exactly the same thing. Bend turn leg. Bend. I do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. I go forward. Mm -hmm. Stretch your leg. Yeah. You rotate your shoulder backwards. No, no, no hopping. Yeah. You rotate your left shoulder backwards. I rotate my shoulder backwards. And I keep walking. You do the other one backwards. You, you go the other side. I can speed it up. Switch your shoulders. I switch my shoulder. No, don't, don't jump yet. Mm -hmm. You rotate your shoulder. I rotate my shoulder, you stand up, I go up, you bend forward, so when you bend forward, the shoulder goes in, and the more that the shoulder works. And every action gives me an attack. How many do I know? No, no, no. All I try to do is stall forever, act like, do like I'm active, and maybe I only know one attack, and I wait for the exact moment that my attack happens. When you understand the game like this, yes, and after a while, then you can start being more active and, and do action reaction and be more explosive also. But this makes you explore the game. Yeah? So let's not try to do it here. Bend your leg fully. I put my hip in, so try to stretch your leg. It's hard, yes? So I already make it hard for you to stretch that leg. When it finally does stretch the leg, I resist it. And then I start to walk. He rotates, I counter rotate. He puts the knee up. Rotate. Backwards. Yeah, I go up. Maybe stretch the leg at this point. You can go up. And we have always the same game. You stand up, I go in. Yes, yes, yes. So with your partner, be precise. Talk about, ask your partner to do lean forward, go in, rotate, back and forth. You coach your partner. If you cannot even beat your partner when he does what you ask him to do, imagine how you're going to beat your partner if he does what he wants and you cannot ask him. Play with this place. Go. My wrestling coach is from, uh, from Chechnya and he always lived, uh, actually lived in Dagestan. For me, that is, in my gym, that is the guy to beat. Yes? And there is two ways how I can beat him. And I will not agree if he sees it after, but the only two ways I can beat him eh, is to be very fast by surprise or be very slow and tire him out. So very fast and by surprise is my best chance on long, long, shot, long term. But the problem is very fast by surprise, for example, means Go here, shoot straight for the leg, Hep goes often good. Uh, last, for three years ago, I did this and I shoot on his thumb. I get like the thumb in, uh, on another guy actually, I, I get the thumb in my eye, I get a cut here, I get the injury. So, speed and fast works, but it's very hard to figure things out. If you put a beginner into the swimming pool, as he never swam, okay? And it's to survive, what is the best tip you can give him? Just splash, splash, splash. Move, 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 and he will have to stay up for like 10 seconds and 20 seconds. But in the long run, he will get tired and he will die, and he will never learn how to swim, yes? But on the downside, man, move your arms perfect, move your legs perfect, that takes time to learn. So you have to put them into the swimming pool, the small one, where it's actually easy to figure things out, yes? So what is the other thing? Look, the, only, the only time I ever beat my wrestling coach, beat is a big word because it's training, is if I put like, sometimes we will do in the gym, if, if I see we have beginners and they get, there's too many spazzy beginners, what I do then is put out a timer. And I say, today we're gonna roll two hours, yeah? And 
you're only going to switch with the submission. No switching otherwise. <coughs> if you stay with your partner and you cannot beat him, you're going to stay with him for two hours. And then people go very precise because maybe you get someone's back, but you know, choke him. And the beginner here, maybe she's going to hold and, and be stalling. But stalling is, stalling is a big illusion. Stalling only exists because we make competition with points. In reality, stalling is the first skill you should learn in self-defense. I want to be the best staller in the world, you know, like, because that's not a fight. But we make it a problem because uh, we have competitive, yeah? So, but, so the white belt with stalling now becomes a problem for the other guy. And you come too rough, another guy goes out. So you learn to be very precise in your positions, and you also learn that position doesn't matter. It's only submission and comfort that happens. Yeah? And then I see sometimes my coach, like, like one time he, well, beat is a big word, but then after 22 minutes, I feel they get tired and again start doing things. Yes? Now, between those two, look, you have to think this. You imagine you start Jiu Jitsu as a, uh, as a 15 year old. You're probably going to have your black belt at 25. Let's say you're at the top of your game between 25 and 35. Yes? Most people do not compete. But if you compete from 25 to 30 in black belt division, yes? And then become 35. The biggest part of your life, you're going to be a non competitive black belt. Exactly. Yes or no? Yeah, that if you do it forever, that's what you're going to be. So what I always say to people is this. First learn the game that you're going to do until you're 100 years old. You focus on the slow game you can do forever. Then you're in competitive years. Go explosive, go hard, go fast, do all the things you need because you understand the game. Eh? Go swim fast. Okay? And then when you do this, when you get injured, because, because I, like, I ripped my shoulder apart, I, I, I injured my, uh, my uh, I call this, my pec muscle teared off. I can tell you, I only did not train for two weeks. Even like with ripped off, I was training like this. Okay, and now it's healing and I'm already training again with people that I trust. Yeah? Okay, good. So you can train always, yes? If you learn how to play the slow game. So um, now I'm going to apply the same thing. I'm going to show the same thing from a footlock. And just keep it in mind. Um, can I use it please? Yeah. And I'm also going to talk a bit defense. So again, don't see it as a, as a position itself. See the concept. So look, <clears throat> footlocks a million years ago were like this. You get the leg, and I actually want some as well. You get the leg, and you go like, ah, all of a sudden, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna pull very hard, and what happens if I do this? Maybe I injure you, mm -hmm. yeah? or maybe you do the correct motion at the right time and you get out. Yes? For example, if I start to pull, just stand up, you're gonna make position better or worse, and make my position very much worse. Yeah? So go back down, okay, good. Now, if I start to pull your leg this way, yeah, and now turn your foot over there. Just the foot. Yeah. So the leg is, so you rotate the leg. Does the lock still work? No. If I'm a silver back gorilla, I will still break your leg, but it's not ideal anymore. Okay, good. I pull again, you rotate that side. Ah, still doesn't work. Now I go there. Now you turn your foot here. Ah, crap. I go there. You go there. Ah, and now it never works. Yeah. So, you have to fix the moment, make your father suffer in the moment, and he will move, and then you adapt to that, yes? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my foot on your leg, and let's say you bend your leg a bit, I want to keep the bend, and you're gonna do the exact same thing. Keep your leg where it is, I breathe in, focus on biceps first. You can even help by pushing up here. And you relax your foot, you relax your leg. You're gonna tell me eh, when it's there. And I'm gonna try to break it only using my arms. I just did a footwork only in my arms, good. So if he's relaxed, this means if he's in a relaxed state, I can probably break your foot if I'm only if I, if I my arms. Good. Now, I'm going to use only my arms, and all you're going to do is engage your leg. So you're going to do this motion, yeah? Okay. Very, very good. So wait for it. I'm going to go, penetrate your weak tissue, and now you engage your foot. Better for you, yes? Yeah. Okay, so now we know I, my arms are not enough to beat your engaged state. Yes? So relax again. If you're pre-engaged, it's even harder because now I cannot penetrate the weak tissue, yeah? So you're going to give me a chance right now. You're going to go in slowly. Don't pull, just be here. Make your back as round as possible. Why? Because you can get a, a, a bigger reach. If you're like this, you're like a T-Rex. So you're first, you're always going to round your back. You're going to go as deep as possible. Here. Go as tight as possible. Squeeze your arm. Then from here, I'm going to engage your feet, engage your leg. And I'm going to engage my back as well. Yeah. What people usually do when they do this, they start stop engaging their arms, and then it goes loose. So you're gonna engage fully, be tight. There's a whole game with the legs also, we're gonna focus on this first, and here, 
I'm going to engage my back. I didn't move yet. <laughs> As I'm doing this, you're going to make now the tiny motion to protect your legs. Let's say you turn that side. Okay, good. Now, in what direction does it look work right now? That side or that side? Why should I rotate? You or me? Me. From there. Look, if you're here and I pull, yeah, you know. no. So I have to go this side, yes? Okay. But if you're here, look what happens. Now we have an open loop. You're rotating that side. If I also start to rotate that side, you start to spin. You can be good on IGF, out of the map, two points, great. Self-defense on the street, good on the street, truck them, you die, training, they want to be on the spot. And I want to finish it, yes? So when I'm doing this, look, if you rotate that side, I counter rotate. Yeah? Now, let's say now you switch sides. Next one I got you. If you go that side, so I'm, wait, I'm again here. You go that side, I counter rotate, try to block it. You pressure, you switch sides. That's when I have you here. So it always, the pressure is more when two rotations uh, collide. Look, let's say this, in fitness, in weightlifting, posture and engagement are very important, yes? Fitness is moving as economically as possible, heavy weights, static weights around, yes? Jiu-Jitsu is moving around as economically as possible, a dynamic weight. Which one is more dangerous? Dynamic, dynamic weight actually tries to kill you, yeah? Jiu-Jitsu, yes? So, look, try to, as a challenge, eh? try to explain, if you have someone in your family, maybe your 40-year-old uncle who never did martial arts whatsoever, try to explain him this. Try to just explain him, round back and straight back. Round back, they will do this, straight back, they will do that. But it's just in the moment always. You're a yoga teacher, yes? Or, yeah. Am I right or no? It's super hard to teach even the cat and the cow. That's why I believe you should do, as a first thing, always do, I was a physical education teacher in school before, eh? and I hate it. That's why I stopped doing it, because football, this, 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 million things, but not teach about the physique. So if I would teach people first, I would say, do, do gymnastics, or yoga, or, um, or uh, for example, sorry? calisthenics, yes, that's good. Eh? Why is it so good? Because yoga comes on breathing first, yes? And then you see how it relates to that. Then after that, you have to do some fitness. Why is weight important? Because look, it's very, it's very difficult to teach someone how to do a squat if they don't realize why. If you put 10 kilo in the neck, then they realize this is easier than this. But if you put 100 kilo in the neck, they also realize that they, they crumble and they're dead right away. Yeah? So and then you go to Jiu Jitsu. Now the problem is, if you just start to do posture alone, it becomes a bit, bit, bit boring for people. So you have to put games into it. And that's why we have to teach first breaking mechanics to make the arm lock, the heel look, the choke 100% safe and everything else makes sense, yes? If your first attack works, there is no reason to get a million attacks. You only have to do, have to solve the problems as, as they come, okay? Now, if you want to learn about posture and muscle engagement, you have to look at the person, at the people who are the best in that. Who are the people who are the best in this is the, the strong man. And I was teaching this this, uh, this thing with the foot and with the arm, like at the class I did today. And a few weeks ago, I saw accidentally a video of um, the mountain, you know the mountain from yeah. Game of Thrones? And he was teaching like, um, I don't remember the channel anymore, but he was teaching like a guy who's putting, putting like a CrossFit. He was teaching him how to do the, the heavy boulder lifting. Atlas stones. Atlas stones, yeah. What is the pattern they use? It's all about patterns. Well, what is the pattern they use to lift up the Atlas stone? Well, but the stone is there, you want to round your back to get around the atlas stone, correct? Then you get your hands together. Then you're going to squeeze your arm as strong as possible. You aim to get this. You will only get this. Then you aim to get your back fully engaged. You aim to get this. If you're super strong, you will crumble the stone. It will not happen, of course, but you do this. You get it as straight as possible. Then you're going to put your hip in. You're going to stand up. Okay. Once you're standing up, how are you going to walk? Are you going to walk like this? You wish, yeah? <laughs> but the reality is going to be this. Correct? Okay, this is your locks. Because in Jiu-Jitsu, the, the foot lock. Foot lock, foot lock. Understand what I'm saying? So this is always the first thing you should look for everywhere. <coughs> Arms and back are quite smart, because they're close to the brain, yes? People have more difficulty eh, in doing the same thing with the, with, with the legs. That is, that comes after a while, yes? So the first goal you do always in your position, for me at least, 
is to get the person stuck. Even if you lose the position, it will cost him still more energy than you to get out. Yes? So now, look at this position. You're going to understand what's happening here. And there is better entanglements than this. That's not, that's not what the class is about. Look. So, lay, lay down for a second. Like half here, not that halfway. Yeah. Okay. Bend your leg a little bit. Okay, good. And now, I'm going to get my atlas stone. I'm going to round my back. Then I can experiment with better grips. <coughs> Let's say, oh, I'm going to do this now. Why not? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, I always steer it in this way, so I mean that to put some more pressure there. Okay, I'm going to round my atlas stone, squeeze as much as I can. You're going to tap once. Good. Now engage your leg a little bit. That's too much. Yeah? <laughs> a little bit. And I'm going to try to penetrate the weak tissue. I don't think I can, I can break the mountain's legs if he wants to. That's why strength is so important. You cannot penetrate the armor. Yes? Okay, now, if you just start to go away from me, yeah, the look becomes worse, yes? So it means if you go away and I pull, it is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if I just pull and you randomly pull away, ah. I win, lucky me. But if I pull and you decide to stand up, I have to bring you either back or all the way over before my submission works again. Okay, good. So, what is it correct to do when you come? You, you guys are going to tell me. If you come <coughs> forward, come forward, do? Come bit forward, please. No, no, just ah, no, no. Okay. don't mean, rotate, just in here, you come bit forward to me. What is, what is my correct reaction here? Push the leg. Okay, I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna push my leg. And you rotate your shoulders, other side. My leg will slip if I push. So it's not the correct thing. Legs, they can't, don't get me wrong, they can definitely push, that happens. But it is like, that is um, things we can't really explain. Pushes help, yeah? But initially, look, if I want to stop him with my limbs. And this is the game, yes? So, if he decides to come forward with his core, what should I do? Go backwards or go forward? Forward, yes? So, if you try to stand up, I'm not trying to stand up. Okay, maybe now you go away from me and you lay down. Okay, and I can decide to go back or I stand up. How will you didn't get the foot lock? Well, no, I didn't, but I got a sweep. Interestingly, last week, eh, I had to camp with Craig Jones and Leglin Giles. And I'm going to make a joke. The conclusion is, foot locks don't work. But it's not true, eh? <coughs> But I said this, look, I said, look, <coughs> the beginning is that they got like ahead of the curve and they figured out the foot locks before everybody else. Yeah? And you win a few times. And then after a while, what is the progression? People learn to defend foot locks. Okay? When you defend the foot lock, it's usually by giving the rotate, yeah? by giving back exposure. So now we start to take the back. After a while, when people take the back, how do you defend the back? By sitting down the butt. And so the conclusion was that if you take foot locks, he said to me, like, if you get high level match, it usually leads to a sweep. Yeah? That is acceptable. Now, then I ask him, what is your preferred position to start at Craig Jones? What is your best position to start? Oh, I want to be on the back. I say, okay, you wish, that would be good. But let's say, neutral position, what do you want to be? I want to be on top. So that is interesting. So why do you still play bottom? Because wrestling is very tiring. So if you fight against the wrestler, it might be the better idea to pull guard first and take the feet. There's a ways to get up. And if the guy really sucks in the... In the Maybe you keep the game here, yes? Okay, good. <coughs> so now, look, so in the end, in the end this top is the best. Why is the top best? Because you can make the guy lose energy. But then it decides what is the best position for you in, in, that, particular, uh, in that particular match. Um, Dimitris, you gave my class away in the beginning of the class. Yeah? Yeah. That's good, that's very good. <laughs> Sorry, ask a question. Come here, please, look. Yes. Now I'm going to go to the back. Let's go <laughs> over here. Okay? And we're going to talk about the rear naked show. The rear naked choke has a very bad, bad disadvantage to in jitsu because why? Look, it doesn't matter what I do here. If my look is perfect, it doesn't matter what I do, you're always gonna die. Yes? I can squeeze and you die, I can pull your head out, you die, I can go everywhere because it's just a superior hold. Yes? But it still is an ideal thing to do. Yeah? So now let's say, if you bend forward, you're gonna make a ball like that. You're gonna lean forward. Okay? Go back. If I do this, you lean forward. Lean forward, yeah? and I lean backwards. Yeah? I'm fighting against your muscle. You go forward, I go forward. You go back now, okay? I can go back if I like. Or you go back, I can push back in. Then the next thing, what should I do? Pull you when you go backwards or push forward? You just need me? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I would go with you. Look, if you go away from me? I would go with you. I see. Now, look, <coughs> if you go forward, I should go backwards. So push more pressure on your throat. If you go backwards, I should go forward. Because if I pull, because ah, okay. now it's perfect, but let's say the gold is less perfect, you hold my arm, hold my arm, <laughs> okay. 
and you go forward. And I, and uh, <coughs> sometimes you go with, but the, so if you start to go backwards now, so here you start to bridge, yeah, and now you start to lose the position also. <coughs> so, and ideas is the only matters, like if it's less than ideal. So I like to always figure out with the, with the show with, with one arm first. Yeah. So bend your neck, please. I'm gonna try to shove you over with my arm. Relax a bit. I'm gonna squeeze my arm. And it works. So go around as fast as you can. Bend a little bit forward, a little bit. I'm gonna shove with my arm along. Then I move forward and then I wanna engage my back. Now engage your neck, please. No, no bridge yet. Engage your back. No, no, no. So you're gonna lean forward. Yeah. And now you're gonna just do this, like make your neck strong. Engage your oh, back. Okay, okay. But in the moment, you're here. It's open, see? Now my arm a little bit works, so now I need my back engaged. And then maybe it works. Yeah. Now, if you rotate that side, oh, wait, wait. rotation, wait, wait. rotation, that side means you rotate your shoulders that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I'm doing this, you rotate that side. And I also rotate, you rotate away from the shoulder, you go back. So when you rotate this side, I have to counter rotate. You go the other side, I counter rotate that side. And that's how everything works. Because it's going to be very rare you're going to get a choke from two guys like this. You're just going to be like something like that, maybe. You go here, look at If I'm here, you try to move the hand away. This battle I will win. This battle I will lose. Because we have two hands to fight yes. my choke in one. So that's the, the thing. One against one I win, two against one I will lose. So if you're here, you squeeze. Good. You go forward. I go backwards. Engage my back. You rotate to that side, I counter rotate, you go to the other side. That's when it works. Yes? Understand? Now feel this. You have the seat belt, yeah? Okay, look at eh? I'm gonna try to break your back. Okay. Not be nice about it, okay? Look. So if I'm here, look. If I start to go here, look at eh? I'm gonna make myself small, squeeze, and now engage my back. You don't like it, yes? No. Now engage yourself to do this. You feel it, please? No, no. So we're gonna do this motion. Really? This, okay. Wait for it. So we're here. Don't move. Just, just do. Engage your. Yeah, there. And now you're gonna feel it's a bit better. But if I can catch you, relax, please. If I can catch you in this moment, now engage your back. I'm still gonna increase it. Maybe you tap, maybe you don't, depending mm -hmm. on strength. Yes. Keep your back engaged. Yeah. Rotate that side. Other side. Other side. I counter rotate. Now go to the other side. That's when I break your back. Yeah, it's, it's always if you if you can bait the guy into going in, that's when you kill him. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. On the, on the going in. This is Rick's and Gracie teach, yes? He always talks about invisible jiu-jitsu. Yeah? And this is it's not invisible, but it's I would like to call it difficult to see jiu-jitsu, yes? Like with the muscle engagement. Yes? And this is what makes it this is Motion is what you see, yes? But it's the, this, it's the, the tiny part that you don't see that, that make the, the difference. The breathing, the way you engage your muscles, yes? Now if you see Rickson, he always talks about connection. Ever heard this word, connection? Okay. Connection is like, is what it is, but it's, it sounds like a magical word, to be honest. Ah, to connect, to connect. What does connection mean? Well, I think in gymnastics or in yoga, it might be, uh, you can, it can be a relaxed state, and it can be an engaged state. So. First thing is, if you do this, that is, now I'm connected to myself. That is called form tension in, in gymnastics. Or how do you call it in yoga? Yeah. Which one? Like just engaged. It does engage, yeah. Engaged, yeah, form tension, I believe, like, Mind. can, sorry? Mindful. Mind, mindfulness is about the moment. Mindfulness, mindfulness is to be relaxed in every moment. If you're always relaxed everywhere, that is the goal of Jutsu, like be so comfortable in here that the guy moves first and then you get out, yeah? So always be okay in the moment. How you do that? By organizing yourself, by breathing. Yeah? In yoga, if you get into a very sucky position, but then they say, ah, oh, but you breathe too. If you breathe, you're alive, so you're not dying, yes? So that's good. <laughs> okay, look now. So, um, yeah. Then, oh, let me use your look. Why is, back at, turn around please. Why is the, everyone understand so this? you're trying to make me move the way. Make you move, yeah. The, the, the way you want it before. Yeah, and if it's like the mountain, this probably will not work, but it will still have to, you still have to tight. work hard yes, to get yes, it out. Yes, That's yes, the whole thing. Tight, Understand? Try this, please. Go. Go. Back the best position is Jiu Jitsu. You cannot get dumb. You get 
hugged him and he came. Yeah, good set, yes? I'm going to say this because you're already smarter than me from your age, than I was in that age. When I was your age, how old were you actually? Uh, 16. 16. I thought the back is the best position because that's where it's easy for me to rear a naked choke. And that was also true for many years. And now you feel if you're on someone's back, it's not so easy to finish the guy, yes? And uh, in the beginning, holding the back was super easy because guys didn't know. Now in Jiu-Jitsu, I don't know a single point anymore. I do not know a single spot in Jiu-Jitsu where I don't have to fight to keep control. Everything is hard these days against good guys, yes? So the thing is, okay, we're here. You know, ah, it's very easy to get the choke. And I go, and he gets my arm and he's out, yes? So the only thing I can tell on the back, it's relatively easy to control compared to other positions, but it's still hard, yes? And it's, I'm the furthest away from losing, yes? But this being said, it's still a very hard position to make it work. So we can do, I can teach like a whole thing about back escapes and back attacks and how to be ideal. Ideal thing I figure, I figure is, is this, if you go on the side, yeah. for, ex for example, get, get the anaconda, get the, get the underhook side, and then go inside here. That's my ideal starting point. Yeah. Okay, now if I'm here, control my wrist, please. Every motion I'm gonna do, is gonna trigger his escape already. So I'm here, three to one we go, and now you're gonna grip fight me, put my arm down, and now I'm in a less good spot than before. Yes? So the idea is always with mindfulness or with, or with jiu-jitsu or whatever is to make the moment suck so hard, make him so uncomfortable, he moves, and when he moves, that's when I can take advantage of that. Yeah? So, for example, Dimitri has also told me in the beginning he likes to do that, so it's if you think both the same, it means confirmation we're onto something. If you breathe bad, so bre bad breathing is this, like do the... Even if you're not fighting, you, just, you start to hyperventilate, so you start to get dizzy by yourself. You don't even need someone to choke you anymore. Yeah. So when you see, look, you feel the chest going up. Okay, good. So every time he breathes out, you can squeeze. And little by little, take out the, the chance to, to, to open it with the lung. Yeah? So you're here, you're taking your, your back, yeah? you, and uh, he breathes in, he breathes out. That's when you squeeze your arms. And you go a bit more, and a bit more, yeah? The same with my legs, and this is funny, look at my legs, eh? Should my feet be like this, or should they be like this? Toes pointed up, yes? But feel this, eh? When I put my toes up, my muscles are engaged, and I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna squeeze, eh? Okay, now I'm gonna relax. Squeeze first, and then engage. See the difference? Because now I make myself full of armor, and I cannot go inside. But if I make myself soft first, go deep in, I can go deeper, and then I engage my tissue, and then it's worse. And this is the same for the arms. You keep your relax, arms quite relaxed, you go in, see? Go as close as possible. And then from here, I'm gonna engage. Good. If you engage before me, do this please, this motion, yeah, stay there. Huh? Now it's gonna be much harder for me to start fighting you inside, so you should always try to be, in, put your neck even more backwards, Yes, man, look, I'm gonna try to choke you, ready? It looks like I'm ready, boom. And now I'm not. <laughs> and now everything sucks. And it becomes to, becomes to be hard. If you both know this, it's a game and it's, it's to be hard, yes? Who's first? Yeah, then it's who's first. But if you, do, if I have more information than you and you're the emotional spazzy guy, and it's, guess what? If you're in competition, or in self-defense, and time is running out, everybody gets a stupid emotional spazzy guy, yes? So you're here, you relax, I squeeze, and I do this. Now, to alleviate yourself, you're gonna engage, but you're too late a bit. You rotate a little bit over there. I counter-rotate. We both collided. Now I squeeze, you fix the other, you go the other side, that's when I can break it. Or that's when he starts to make space, and he can move. Yeah. For example, for the rear nigger, I also like, the first thing I like to do is always, eh, I like to look for the face like this. Imagine I get this, engage. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah, you can do that, eh, but in a second. Yeah. Imagine I have here, and I'm gonna try to do this. Wait, 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 I'm just gonna explain first. Try to do a neck attack. And if the person lifts the chin up now, that's when you can go for the choke, for example. Yeah. So, I thought when you said that gauge to defend. Ah, no, no, it's not as a thing like we speak. It's, it's always. Also position sucks. Ah, it's, it's like, this is vocabulary. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you, when, the, the, when I, in my gym also, the first thing people have to learn is, is how I speak. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that, is, that is a problem, yeah. Because, like, for example, if I say rotate, does it mean this? Or is it this? Yeah, so in my gym, I tell people first, this is rotation, 
And this is a pivot. Okay. So it, it takes a while. After a while, we speak the same language, yes? Uh, I can keep going on for this forever. I don't know what time it is. I don't really care, but maybe some other people care. Are there questions about anything? So, yeah? When, when the other guy, this is what I want to ask. When the other guy is first tense, and you can lock your body triangle as you want, okay? Yeah? What you do to do it, to achieve it? Then, then, um... It gave me to another attack, because your body triangle was extremely tight. This is why I ask ex especially okay. for this. Look, so look, then it's, it's extremely then tight. The, even the, even the, when I engage, yeah. it was perfectly tight. Then the answer is always, it depends. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, but, so, if I'm, for example, here, I always try to see, okay, if you have a completely closed loop around someone, that's the strongest, yes? yes? But, for example, let's say now, for, it's very valuable to rule all from positions like this, for example. So what will I do here? Okay, I will do, so for example, I will do this. Just make it as good as, I try to slow you down all the time, yes? And now, as you start to move, huh, then maybe I get my foot inside. But if you go back, if I try to put my foot inside first, look, I'm gonna keep my foot trapped, ready? Don't let, don't let my foot get out. Yeah. And if I do get out, who escaped here really? Huh? One of my favorite things huh, is, oh, your belly please? No, actually, no. One of my favorite things, is on YouTube, look, police arrest has gone bad. Like people trying to arrest people and it goes bad. And what is the one biggest recurring theme that I see when I, when I teach police, sometimes I do the same thing. You see this, the arrest and police lays on the belly. Put your hands here. Huh? Okay, give me your hands, give me your hands. Huh? Okay, and then this happens, huh? and they teach in the police school. And they say, give me your hands. What is gonna happen now, what is gonna happen? The guy is gonna go to turtle, boom. Every single time this happens. Yeah? But the problem is, okay, don't move, huh? How many points is this? Four, Four points. You ever see a wrestler do this? Wrestler never will do this. Because they realized 2,000 years ago that this should not be any points. What, is, what does a wrestler do here? Body loss. Yes! Thank you, man. How old are you? 16. Did you do wrestling? Man, I wish, I wish I was this smart when I was 16, because I followed this path for so many years. But, so, the, I, it's exactly here, to be here. And then what I like to do is this. Give me a free back massage. <laughs> and now look, <laughs> and when you give the back massage, now look, this is a funny thing, look, if I bully you, and you move, I will bully you more and more and more and more and more. Someone gave you information that I, I really huge pain over there. I'm sorry, so I'm I told you. <laughs> I will, I will relax. Look, the thing yeah, is, look, this, this is very funny, look at this. If I start, ah, oh, pressure point, I start to do this. And if you, if you get bullied and you run away, what will the bully do? He will keep you bullying forever until you take a stand. And sooner or later you have to take a stand. Why not take the stand here? So I'm gonna put pressure, put pressure back, please. Not put pressure back. Ah, now it's worse for me. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. But you didn't know. I didn't so know. I'm gonna put you the pressure here. And you start to move. Fight it, please, go, go, move. Move a little bit, and that's when you start to get your ways in. For example, put your butt up a bit. You can start by making, you see? Uh, maybe I don't have the back, but maybe I get, get some else out of it. Yeah. So long story short, when you're close, try to engage. Eh? If it's a mountain, I'm not going to be able to move him. I can only make it as hard as possible to move. And when he moves, that's when you take, when you take over. Yes?